Hey, this is Jim. Thanks for joining us for another NDI November Spotlight. We invited one of our system integrators to join us on today's show to talk about some NDI installation success stories. So here, joining us in the corner of my screen, you will see Shannon from Peak Media. Hey, Shannon. Hi, guys. How are you? Doing excellent. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you. Thanks for having me today. Oh, our pleasure. Anytime we can get the opportunity to share stories from people like yourself who are out in the field helping your customers do these NDI installations, that's the type of thing that really resonates very well with our audience. You know, it's amazing once you see one school or organization adopt this technology, that's when the wheels start spinning. Hey, I could do this myself. Um, so before we get into that story, Shannon, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and a little bit about Peak? Absolutely. So um, I started Peak Media almost 25 years ago. And so we have been in this industry for numerous years. And as the technology and trends have changed, our business model has evolved with it. With uh, the name Peak Media, obviously, we started started on the media side of the business, but um, now we're full into system integration and moved away from media to um, the latest technologies and are loving working with NDI, which we're here to talk about today. Absolutely. And Shannon, you're out in Denver, right? That is correct. So we've been in Denver since 1998 and kind of serve uh, the Mountain States region okay. and support our customers with products in this area. Excellent. That's great to hear. So one of the reasons that led me to uh, reaching out to you, I know we've had you on NDI November in the past, but it was actually in a presentation that I was doing with Telestream where they were training our sales team, talking about all the great opportunities for the YTS gear systems. And they pointed out Fountain Valley School, which was actually an installation that you helped them out with. Can you tell us a little bit about the installation there with that school district? Yeah, absolutely. So we've been working with the school district for a number of years. And like many districts, they were coming up against some obstacles about how to set up to be able to create productions in every environment that they wanted to. Um, and largely just because of infrastructure, working in, um, you know, an older facility where it isn't super easy to run new cables and power and that type of thing. Plus, they already had some existing cameras they wanted to integrate. And so in kind of looking at their whole ecosystem workflow and what their ultimate goals were, it really made sense to step in and do an NDI type installation for this customer so that. Um, we could still integrate with their SDI cameras um, via, you know, a direct connection, but also give them the ability to do NDI where they can take the production outside their studio, be able to stream sports, stream graduation, and do all of that thing at a very low cost. Um, because when we're dealing with education market, budgets are also a concern and they don't have unlimited money to do very advanced um, integration of video systems. Okay, so the SDI cameras that we're talking about here are cameras that were previously installed, uh, something already available at the school? And then as part of your system, Correct. did you bring in the NDI cameras as additional uh, as video sources? That is Yes, that is correct. So, and it all started um, because they wanted to get some cameras in their field areas. Okay. Um, so to handle their outdoor sporting events and that type of thing. And so um, having the you know, to be able to get some sort of a production switcher on a network at the facilities that they're recording from. They already had the network drops there. So instead of having to have some sort of an SDI infrastructure to get SDI back to the production switcher, it was super easy to do NDI and um, put it on their existing network that they had out at those field locations and bring that video back into their studio to be able to stream their live events. And, and that's definitely been a recurring theme that has come up quite a bit as we talked about NDI in November is how much easier yes. it's made the installation for people like us. Uh, you don't have to go crawling around. If you have a network drop and you have that network in place, now you can bring your camera in and provide POE, control, and audio video back over NDI to a production system like the YTS gear. Now, was there any yeah, specific considerations that led you towards the YTS gear in this install? Um, I'm sorry, I, I didn't catch the last part of, of that question, but I, what I, I think I 
maybe got enough of it that, I mean, a big part of it too was the power because the school, they didn't have camera operators to be able to put in place. So they really wanted to utilize uh, PTZ. So as you're looking at that picture right there, I don't see any power outlet <laughs> to plug in any any sort of PTZ camera in that type of environment. So the POE is a huge um, plus for an NDI uh, type application for these schools where they need to be operator free and have PTZ but they're in an environment where it's not easy to plug in um, the equipment. Absolutely. So I think the part where I dropped out, Shannon, I was asking about the YTS gear specifically. Was oh, was yes. that okay. chosen because of the SDI and NDI capability? Were there any other considerations? No, absolutely. So Wirecast, um, one, they've been very reliable from an SDI workflow. So we've sold their products for numerous years. And um, again, when you're working with these type of products that have a lot of software integration with hardware, um, having something that's going to be reliable and work in the field is extremely important because we don't want our customers saying, oh, my software isn't working or my system keeps crashing. So the fact that uh, Telestream has offered a hardware box that has been rock solid in the field for us was a, a leading consideration. And then the fact that they are able to take SDI and NDI, um, there's very small li short list of manufacturers that are off actually offering that capability in a production switcher. So um, Wirecast being able to allow us to bring in both SDI and NDI sources is very instrumental. And then kind of a third factor, you know, we're talking mostly about cameras, but, um, you know, NDI allows you to bring in so many other sources that aren't just um, cameras. And so that's an important consideration as well, because, you know, we're talking schools, we may want to bring in a PowerPoint presentation or other type of learning devices. And the ability to do all of that over NDI is um, super easy and convenient and a kind of a no-brainer when it comes to workflow. No, that absolutely made sense. Now, Shannon, do you know if they have like a full-time AV production team or are they relying on their students to handle a lot of their production? What exactly are they doing? Yeah, they're very limited in their resources. Um, there's just one gentleman that kind of runs the program and he ha does have some access to students. But a lot of these operations, you're looking at one man shows, maybe a couple men shows um, or women, <laughs> men or women shows. And so, um, you know, just being able to um, have multiple inputs, control everything and um, do it as one person. Um, again, the NDI makes that workflow and set up easy because you're if you're going out in the field, you've got to throw down one SDI cable and you're ready to go. Um, or if you're at a location where they already have something on the network for the entire campus, then you can just plug into that network. So um, ease of setup and minimal operation requirement in terms of staffing is very critical. Absolutely. And I would think that's also a really nice consideration for the YRTS gear system is the YRTS software is very user-friendly, very easy to use. It's the type of software where you do have limited resources. You can bring a student or volunteer at a house of worship or anyone and get them up to going, up to speed on at least a basic production pretty quickly and easily. Yes, I always like to say I have a business degree and I can run a production with the Wirecast software because it's so intuitive. And if you've worked your way around computer and have a few general production um, ideas, it's it's very intuitive and simple and easy to use. Absolutely. And, you know, we talked about the Fountain Valley Schools. I know that you're doing a lot of other installations with NDI workflows, with NDI products. What other types of customers does Pete work with on a regular basis? I mean, for the most part, any customer that's looking to put in any type of PTZ, we are going NDI. Okay. Um, any customer that's looking for some sort of remote production, we are looking at NDI and kind of um, for all of the reasons that we've talked about. So for House of Worship, um, we're doing a lot of um, council meetings, whether it be school board or city council, um, those meetings that they're streaming out to the public. So um, peg type environment, it's, it's a very simple, easy solution um, to, to bring NDI in there. And a lot of these um, government and educational entities that we work with, they're in very dated buildings. So if you think about having to 
pull cable or wire, that type of thing. Um, it's it's very complex um, or they're historical. And so you have certain limitations in terms of what you can and can't do. So being able to just bring in a single cat cable to, um, as we talked about, get video and power and everything, it's um, it really makes sense. So we're steering a lot of our customers towards NDI um, because we just see everything in the future going that. So your future proofing, um, you know, SDI was great product while it was around and it was the best at the time. And now NDI, I feel, is the best of the time. And so we're steering most of our customers that direction. Oh, absolutely. And I think, you know, the easier and the quicker these installations can be done, the more customers we can help out in doing it. And I think we've yeah. seen this really happening at a fevered pace, especially over the last couple of years, because everyone is now recognizing how important it is to be able to broadcast these council meetings and stuff like that. Yeah, we have a customer that actually has a camera that was HDMI and um, a PTZ camera, and they didn't spend very much money on it. They got it from another source. But even purchasing a new camera from us, NDI, they're saving money because they're not having to hire an electrician to come in and put electrical where they needed it. We're not running um, SDI over a long distance and that type of thing. So, um, you know, even in that kind of environment, it makes sense um, to be NDI for saving on installation costs. Yeah, absolutely. And then for cameras that do have the limitation of not being able to swap out a camera or needing a camera in a fixed location, there are also a whole category of HDMI and SDI converters that you can attach to the yes. cameras to get that NDI workflow still. Yep, that's that's what's amazing because you can mix SDI and HDI and HDMI and NDI. So yeah. if you have multiple cameras and a lot of our education, again, you know, they've got cameras that are a few years old and then they get the budget to buy one more. So they've got an SDI camera and then based off new budgets, they buy an HDMI. And now it's like, how do we get all of these into the same box? Because typically um, production switchers are limited to an SDI or HDMI. And with um, NDI capabilities, you can bring any type of um, output from a camera into the switcher with converters. And absolutely. And one of the things we've seen as well, too, is even with the resolution, uh, there's a lot of customers that are moving from HD to 4K workflows and even beyond. And when you start talking about yeah. 4K, 4K over HDMI looks beautiful. 4K over SDI, now with a 12G SDI, you're running all new cables. It, it, it could be a costly upgrade. Now with NDI giving you that 4K capability, it's also driving more and more customers onto the network to do a lot more of this stuff. Yes, absolutely. So Shannon, it sounds like you're doing a ton of NDI installations. What percentage of your business now would you say is NDI really being the solution that you're offering to these customers? Um, you know, unless we're just replacing a single camera, um, in an existing uh, network where they already have something set up and they have one camera that's gone down and they want to replace, I would say we are doing 100% cameras right. with NDI capabilities or the ability to upgrade to NDI, which is nice that, you know, even some of the cameras that don't come standard with NDI give you a pathway to um, purchase the NDI license and make it NDI capable so that we're future-proofing down the road. Wow, that's great. You know, I wasn't looking for a technology testimonial, <laughs> but when I can hear an integrator like you with 25 years experience in this field say that you're moving entirely to NDI installations, I think that really is a huge testimonial to what this technology is capable of today. Uh, so Shannon, one of the questions I'm asking all of our guests this month is what's on your wish list for NDI? What do you want to see it be capable of? What do you see for the future? Oh, wow. You didn't, you didn't give me this question to prepare for. <laughs> you know, I don't know. For right now, I mean, I don't really feel like, you know, we're having a lot of lack. I mean, I think some people, you know, who do want to put it are still putting in, like, you know, for 4K, a 12G infrastructure and that type of thing because, of you know where their ultimate deliverable is in terms of quality and that type of thing, um, you know that makes sense. But most of our customers are delivering to um, a web-based, um, whether it be streaming or on-demand content. Um, it you know the quality resolution is there, so um, you know maybe just improvements in um, the quality of the video over time. But I really I really don't think people see 
as much as they used to in terms of NDI quality uh, versus SDI. And, and I can tell you one of the recurring themes that has come up, and we started this month with the keynote address from Tarif at NDI, the division of VizRT. And one of the things that we talked a lot about is audio over NDI and NDI being able to integrate with other uh, IP protocols like Dante AV and all this other stuff. Yep. And I think we're going to see a lot of developments going that way in the future. Uh, so like I said, it's definitely something that I wanted to ask, you know, from your experience in the field, uh, asking how we can help check those boxes. And look, we have the ear of companies like New Tech, like Panasonic, like Bird Dog. So let's ask these questions now and let's let, let's see what we can convince them to give us, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I agree that audio would be uh, a really critical component. So in most of these types of situations, then we're figuring out a Dante solution. And yep. so we're pr purchasing traditional um, audio gear and adding that Dante card to it, sound card to be able to um, bring in the audio over. But if it was integrated into NDI, that would be mind blowing. Oh, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Integration with lip sync is all we really need. Uh, and Shannon, I, yes. I, I know that uh, you met some of our team out at your AV Expo, uh, the Rocky Mountain Audio Video Expo. Now, that's something that Peak is a co-host of every year, right? Correct. We're one of the sponsors. We sponsor with a few other um, integrators in the area. And um, we like to think of it as a mini NAB Infocom blend um, that's local. And it's one of the strongest regional shows um, out there. Every manufacturer walks away saying they saw really good uh, quality people. Our customers walk away saying they got to see really great quality product and it's hands-on. They like the fact that it's a little bit more of an intimate setting than an NAB or Infocom. So you're not fighting for the manufacturer's attention or standing in lines three or four <laughs> deep just to see something or learn about something. So it's a, it's a really strong expo and I highly recommend anybody in the region um, or even outside the region makes the trip out because it's, it's a really strong local show. I think local shows have kind of trickled off in years past, but AV Expo uh, remains one of the best in the business. Yeah, we, we go out of our way to try to make the trip every single year. Uh, this October show was a great show. Lots of NDI products on display, lots of NDI partners there. Uh, I expect to see even more and more of that next year. So uh, definitely, as soon as you have those dates for 2023, count us in. We'll be there. Great. Appreciate your support. Oh, absolutely. And we appreciate your support of NDI November. Uh, it, it's great to have you on. I, I love that we have the opportunity to talk about the success stories that Peak has had and some of the stuff that you're doing to help get these products out there. Um, if uh, there are any questions from anybody joining us today in that Rocky Mountain area, you can reach out to us and we'd be happy to connect you with Shannon at Peak. Uh, Shannon can help answer the questions, help you get set on the right path, choosing the right PTZ camera, NDI workflow solutions, uh, Telestream, New Tech, you name it, uh, we can definitely help. Uh, Shannon, uh, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you very much. We still are only halfway through NDI November and have a great schedule planned for you. Coming up tomorrow afternoon, we are going to be joined by Bird Door, talking about all of their Bird Door cameras, NDI signals, and, and everything else. Uh, so a lot of the PTZ cameras that we spoke about today will be featured by Bird Door. You can see our full schedule at ndinovember.com. Registration there gets you access to all of these shows as well as entries for our giveaways. Tomorrow, at the end of the show, we will be announcing the winner of the Bird Dog P100 NDI PTZ camera. So definitely make sure you tune in and good luck winning. Join us at ndinovember.com and tune in for all of our great shows. If you're in the Rocky Mountain area and have any questions on these items uh, talked about or the workflows where Peak Media can help you, go to peakmediainc.com or give them a call today. Until net, until tomorrow, we'll see you soon. Bye. NDI November is going on all month long for all things NDI. Your one-time registration gains you access to all the informative webinars with great guests and tons of giveaways. Check out the full schedule and register at ndinovember.com. Giveaway prizes include Bird Dog P100, 
JVC PZ200 N camera, Telestream Wirecast Pro license, New Tech University class, and more. See all the giveaway prizes and register now at ndinovember.com.